is I don't know if there's a way to just set the race for for all yellow emoji. But That's I never a good phrase. <laughs> set the race has been bad for set the race. of years. How, uh, hello, Tim Tim Apple. Hey, Tim. <laughs> I would like to set my race. Tim, you chose my race wrong. I would like to register my race with the <laughs> Apple Corporation. This this certainly isn't dystopian at all. Yeah, I'd like a, an authenticator and a, like a um, verification check to come if I say the N-word in the text. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a brown yeah. verification <laughs> check. <laughs> and, if I, and if I'm not... People are like, wait, what the... <laughs> what did you do? Oh, okay. No, he has the... You can tap it and you see like an NFT of like yeah, an Edward pass. Yeah, hexagonal. It like looks like D. a bus card. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's in it's in like script font. Yeah. <laughs> it's like that as that SpongeBob as approved. Meme where it's like <laughs> you have to send it into like the government. Yeah, there's like that SpongeBob uh, clip where SpongeBob like is writing the intro to his book and like the, oh the, the giant it's the, like yeah. it's a T is like huge. <laughs> It's like that for the whole thing. Dude, I have I I think SpongeBob is a I think SpongeBob and like a good chunk if not all of Dragon Ball Z is like the pop culture reference point that has just aged out. Like I am mm -hmm. like SpongeBob oh. I believe it's even still around, but as far as like a Yeah. as far as like say I make Simpsons references in a way that I don't think would be transferable yeah in no most zuma cases and i definitely like if i, I forget what we were, it might have been on stream it might have been with a regular human being uh being my normal self a different race entirely <laughs> you wait you interacted with a regular human it being. was fine i don't somebody told me to touch grass and i appreciate the insight <laughs> uh yeah yeah you're right i stop i should stop talking about sneaker i'll go touch grass thanks thanks dude <laughs> thank you so much uh there is a like the you know it, that actually it's in the case of that book with the giant the the hyper detailed close up is such a classic SpongeBob bit. It is. But if I see something is. that's like grotesquely detailed and slimy, I'm mm -hmm. just like, oh, yeah. this is like I just zoomed in on a cartoon on an episode of SpongeBob. Yeah, I can see all my pores. Yeah. I like the the internal logic that if you zoom in close enough to a cartoon, it's like a <laughs> grotesque, hyper real <laughs> moles. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We've never like we're always just looking at cartoons from far away, so we've never seen them. Yeah. We've never had cameras that could capture that high of detail. It's a dramatic recreation when we watch a cartoon, and then when it shows something in detail, it's like, oh, here's the real footage from when I was hanging so, out with him. Let's look at, I'm going to open up my text with you, and then just open up my keyboard, and just look at what, what brown oh, okay. emojis I have by default. Okay. Oh, this is actually kind of funny. <laughs> I feel like I should send this to you. Okay. Oh, wait. I just... Um, instead of taking a screenshot, I put my phone to sleep. I'm going to search, can I set my race on iPhone? <laughs> oh, it, it just, Let's see, how does... just came back as a, uh, it's NSFW. I'm not allowed to say. <laughs> it's really just a matter of like, which emojis I haven't used are the ones that are still yellow, but the graphic of this is pretty funny. I just texted this. Dude, I, sorry, the Google search. They've played so coy. This is like uh, if you say the N word around a white person for the first time, you've known them like tw you've seen them like twice. It's just like, uh, 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 okay. Like the Apple result is screen time. You want to talk about screen time? Oh, can I set yeah. my race on iPhone? Screen screen time. And then screen on time? speed endurance want... says iPhone sprint timer. It's an app you can use. That's what yeah, you do you right? want an alarm clock? Yeah. <laughs> They're like, can I set, can I, how do I register my race card with Apple Yeah, because you definitely, like, uh, support.apple.com is definitely not going to set an article that could even accidentally come up that's like, do you want to be brown or not? <laughs> yeah. Which brown we do you want to be? <laughs> which brown do you want to be? Because I'm skin tone four. Uh, okay. <laughs> Isn't this a funny this looking This says a image? lot about you, actually. <laughs> you said, uh, you've, you, what, you're never pointing forwards at someone? You don't ne have never point as forwards. a black man. That might be too aggressive. Oh yeah, you have uh, you have this one. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah, all good. That, yeah, yeah. It's like a, it's the this emoji, like the yellow crazy <laughs> yeah. the roof or whatever. But we, if, if it's black, then it's like this. Yo, all good, brother. <laughs> don't even yeah. worry about it. Put the put the. Gun I was down. kidding. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna save this screenshot. We'll put it in the video version.
Uh, yeah, this is like the album art. <laughs> okay, one of the funniest ones is that you have pen I'm, writing. What are you gonna... <laughs> <laughs> you I... have pen writing, and you don't have pointing left or right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I never point left or right as a black man. You don't have wave. Um, but, <laughs> you don't have waving. When I you do, have writing with a pen. I think yeah. Sometimes I do switch. I of course I have the fist. You know, you have as, the fist. As a black fist. My favorite one that's uh, a black hand is the that's a spicy, spicy meatball. <laughs> They're in on it, aren't they? Apple. They get the bit. Oh, and dropped. can does anybody know why I had the like live long and prosper yeah, as a black? You man? have also, Vulcan that, that but you don't have regular handheld. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that sounds about right that sounds i've never like volunteered me. yeah i didn't even know about the, this the bts thing right yeah little thingies little love where thingies. is that uh it's between you doing rock on and peace between me doing rock on and oh yeah that's new that's new and that's um i mean i i believe that's like the korean i love you yeah, right. I, I only know it as like a BTS army thing. I feel like even saying yeah. the keywords is getting us in trouble, but not. Yeah, I've said well, nothing. I mean, I, I believe. I'm pretty sure that I'm not like out of pocket with this. Yeah, I, I think you're right. Because uh, I'm the equivalent about this of like for... this guy kind of thing. Yeah. It's a lot more efficient. Um, When I first saw it, like for a while, I got corrected by my chat because I was like, yeah, it's like, it's like nice. Ooh, yeah. Nice. Sort of like, like scratch, like cash. Okay, finger. Uh, this is on Korea.net. Okay, <laughs> finger hearts have been a pop. Yeah, <laughs> Korea.net. Um, finger heart, not Korea. <laughs> Korea.gov or anything <laughs> like that. It is. It is an unofficial <laughs> website. Edu. So it says finger hearts have been a popular gesture in the Asian community, especially Korean. But at least that's my association. I I don't know where that like actual etymology is. Sure. Like. Who's your bias? Um, Excuse me, Jarvis. Who's your bias? Your in your what in is, K-pop. Who's your bias? Oh, oh, I, I don't know. I don't know. There's a means. red dot oh, that God. appears on you. Oh, <laughs> Please, I, no. I, what is he asking? <laughs> Stan Junko? <laughs> <laughs> or not? If you don't like that one, actually, neither do I. <laughs> or if you don't like him. <laughs> if you don't like him, I was kidding. Um, and if you do, it's all I ever care about. I mean, BTS is cool. I believe it is. <laughs> I, I just say other things. I like, to like get the. I, to hey man, I've not heard a lot of K-pop, but every single bit I've heard, I enjoyed. So well, we can leave it yeah. at that. And they seem they. Are, if that yeah. bothers you, I was joking. <laughs> and if it do, if it there's if like you liked some, it, I wasn't joking. I just want to be clear. There's some pretty awesome uh, K-pop music videos too. I oh, used to go to in San Francisco. Um, I don't know if you ever went to Seven 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 Sutter. No. I think it's seven. Oh, yeah, no, no, I know the one you mean. Or Literally, something, that's something, the sign, something right? Sutter. Yeah, it's like the address and the... But it's a, a Korean barbecue place. And there was um one of my coworkers at Yelp, Jasper, uh, who then went on to found a company uh, that does interview scheduling um, called... Uh, uh, is it one of the... Uh, Good Time. Oh. Goodtime.io. Oh, Jasper yeah. Good Time. Yeah, Jasper Good Time. Uh, Jasper Sone. Um, I mean, I don't, yeah, I'm like, am I doxing him? I, he's the, he's the CEO of a company. I don't know, um, say his address to be clear. <laughs> but, well, it's 777 Center. <laughs> and, um, so, so Jasper organized, uh, like, Korean barbecue nights where when I was at Yelp, we would all, like, it was like a hundred of us would all walk from the Yelp office at like 140 New Montgomery to 777 Sutter. And we would just eat. We would, I almost said we would eat K-pop. We would eat Korean <laughs> barbecue. Jesus. <laughs> and there would be like K-pop music videos like on the screen, um, on, on like this uh, projector screen that was there. And there's some good. There's some good uh, K-pop music videos, man. Dude, production value in there, creativity in there. I can't, This yeah. is all sincere what I'm saying, and I cannot help but feel like I'm still trying to negotiate myself out of a hostage situation. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's. Yeah, I'm like, there's this one EXO music yeah, video that I really love. Uh, uh, like, <clears throat> uh, let's just. <laughs> oh wow! Actually, I'm um, really in the mood to name every K-pop band listed on Wikipedia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I like or dislike all of them. <laughs> uh, I'm just checking what faces I had uh, racially assigned. Oh, faces! I think old black man is my main racially assigned <laughs> face. <laughs> I have. I don't know. Okay. 
I d okay, I'm just gonna send you a screenshot of this because it's exclusively there's me, like there's Mustache Man, and mm. then all the other ones are just <laughs> a bunch of different denominations of old person. But the ones that I've chosen <laughs> to set races for, I don't remember ever using any of these. I'm honestly a bit. I skeptical. mean, that's. I mean, you got me. I can't explain why I did the Vulcan salute. Um. Or the writing, <laughs> the writing down. I don't even know what the top right one is. <laughs> yours, <laughs> what is that? Yours looks like an accurate demographic of like the staff at Apple. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, there's like this, a bunch of. Is it like it's from an infographic? Yeah, it's like a bunch of Simpsons in like one black. Yeah, guy. this is the uh, and Storm from X Men. <laughs> this, this is a breakdown of like uh, how London has changed over the last hundred years, and this is like in the sixties. Wait, white. Why is there a black woman with white hair? Because that is... And then why a, a diagonally across from her is there Jesus Christ? And what can that... How did I get her to have white... Oh, this is just woman with white hair. And then I can... And ginger hair. And they're not next to each other. Do you notice that, Jarvis Johnson? I do notice They've that. They've been said diagonal. Notice, like, <laughs> there is a connect four of... <laughs> yeah, <yellow>. long hair. <laughs> there is a, like, yellow woman with default haircut. And then there's Ginger Woman with default haircut, or like um, Daphne from Scooby Doo. Yeah, <laughs> or whatever. it's actually most there's, of the Scooby Gang. Yeah, Storm from X Men with default haircut, and then what looks like exactly the same emoji, but with a beard, and so it looks exactly like Jesus yes. or uh, or what's his face? Uh, uh, JVN. Uh, J uh, no, I was gonna say the um, the the serial killer. Who had the cult? Who? who... Oh, Charlie Manson. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Didn't yeah. he look like that in like the seventies? I mean, that's that. Those are the two genders: Charlie Manson or Javier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Which is it? Boy, yeah. The wait, these are diagonal. They're diagonally aging. All of these are. So, yeah. Also, yeah. The fact that I went with old, I went with the two different ages of man with mustache. I'm like, that's me. Old. I'm somewhere in between that middle and old. And then storm. What is this egg in the middle or the bottom right side? Look at that oh, egg yeah. man. There's like a little bit. It's <laughs> it's a little baby man. Look at this egg. I do think it is also aging. It goes from like old black man to young yellow baby child <laughs> to like adolescent yellow baby child to white bald baby. Yeah, I cannot express to the the audio listeners just how much, just how little I comprehended of the smiley emoji available options in on the iphone i didn't even know i had all this choice we've got to send this to austin yeah i'll slack and, him right uh, now so yeah, i'm gonna so slack him right now and not tell him why yeah don't explain if he asks i should be like what's that what's that pal want to talk to hr giving me lip huh all right <clears throat> I'm pumped welcome to sad boys a podcast about feelings and other things also i'm a yellow uh, Vulcan salute emoji. <laughs> and I'm uh, a sort of rough approximation of a hands up. <laughs> a fear based hands yeah. up. Um, what the hell is up? What's up? Uh, it's, it's a beautiful Saturday afternoon over here in sunny, sunny, sunny. Holy fuck, it's so fucking sunny. Nice for Los Angeles, California. Uh, it's like 100 degrees it's outside. Insane, We're experiencing yeah. a heat wave. Yeah. Melody sent me a, uh, a picture of her dashboard and was the thing I was supposed to notice says how hot it was. And instead, what mm. I glued on to, I literally spent like a full minute just in the street, stood in the way of a pram. And I just tried to find 420. I searched so fucking mm. hard. And I was like, is it 69? I yeah. Don't you were like, where is 69? And then I noticed that the car was in drive and I text it back. I'm like, is it D? Is that the, is it, it's like yeah. a, it's D. the letter D? Is every the, time you, every time you put your car in drive, you go, yeah. ladies. <laughs> <Do you know? laughs> hey, Melanie, look what I'm, look. <laughs> look at car <laughs> look it's in D. Look. It's like that, I'm um, not... it's like that guy from the rehearsal. Have you seen the rehearsal? Yeah, yeah. Where, where just every time he sees a number, he's like, oh, 22. Oh, <laughs> it's, like, it's like, bro, Dude, you were going to see these numbers all the fucking time. I tried explaining to someone what the rehearsal was the other day. And like the, 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 the portal of knowing Nathan for you saves yeah. so much time. If you, you need don't that. know it, 
There's, yeah. Because, like, the kayfabe of him as a person, it feels, to me, pretty essential. I can't imagine... I can't imagine what it would be like to watch Better Call Saul without Breaking Bad. I can't imagine what it would be right. like to watch the Star Wars originals without knowing Darth Vader's his uncle or whatever. And I can't... Yeah, yeah. What must it be like to... Because the rehearsal also presents itself like a very serious show. It doesn't even have mm -hmm. the... It does. You know the goofy opening? It was like, dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun on Nathan for you. And it's like, yeah. I get, uh, graduated from Canada, and then a shot of a flag with really yeah, good grades, yeah, yeah. and it's kind of mediocre grades. I, gra <laughs> I graduated from Canada. Canada. Not a business school in Canada. Yeah. <laughs> I graduated. I, was, I graduated from Canada. That means uh, emigrating country. to the U.S. That's when you graduate. Yeah, that's graduating Canada. from Canada, yeah. Uh, <laughs> dun, 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 that whole bit. Okay, at least yeah. I know it's a joke, right? The rehearsal, it could just be a bad reality. It could just be like a reality show yeah. that didn't go very well. There's got to be someone who watched the rehearsal and was like, I don't know what the hell this is. What is this cat up to? They, they don't, they, why is he so weird? Like, yeah. It's not, yeah, you don't I, even see the, like, it doesn't even have the benefit of the Comedy Central tag at the start. Like, no. you need to view it. Also, the rehearsal has one earnest straight ahead episode and then it completely goes sideways. Yeah. <laughs> and like, they fully set it up like it's going to, and this is, you know, sp I do kind of want to get into a little bit of spoilers for the rehearsal, so. I want to give a little spoiler warning. Here's the timestamp. But and there's the timestamps in the description of the episode also, if you want to see the first one. Oh. Did you know that? But no. <laughs> <laughs> Have you not listened to the episode? No. <laughs> uh I listened to the episodes four years after we record them exclusively. Yeah. Um Yeah, like the <clears throat> funniest thing. I saw like a funny meme. I don't know if I sent this to you, but it was um have you seen that meme of the guy it's like a it's like a a wiki how type animation or illustration and it's like somebody knocking over one small domino that leads to a yeah, lot of domino, domino, yeah. domino. Yeah, and it's like um uh <laughs> the bottom is door city over here and then the <laughs> the last one is <laughs> convincing a 6-year-old that you're his father. <laughs> Um, and I'm like, oh my god, yeah. That that how did that where how did we get here? Dude, Nathan Fielder is such a I mean, not like this is some kind of big insight, but like he's such a fascinating person. Like, yeah. The fact that he's where does the bit begin and where does it end is is kind of the like trite insight. For me it's closer to like all right, we've both met and you and me have both met and spoken to people that their public persona, interviews included makes you think that they must just be like that all the time. Even if you have an eye for it, like Tim Heidecker. Right. I had a f one yeah. phone call ever with Tim Heidecker, and right before it happened, <laughs> well, actually, I didn't plan because he called me when I was hungover, but he he called, I recognized the number was in my phone. Let's set it, fingers crossed. He called me, and it was to talk about Patreon stuff. And as soon as he did, I was like, oh, I better get, like, ready, like, to riff, you know, be kind of weird. Yeah, like, yeah. And he was just a dad. Like he was yeah, so yeah. he literally at one point his joke was like, Well, I was thinking that we could use a little bit of my um kind of I guess we'll call it notoriety. <laughs> and it was just like a completely <laughs> human way to express himself. Yeah, and yeah, I, yeah, yeah. That was like the moment I realized that no matter how thick the bit, like I I, I yeah. if I didn't have sad boys, then there would literally not be a public record of me being a sincere person. Right. It'd be me True. playing D and D. <laughs> or <laughs> Or just me, like, you know, uh, yelling at a, a racist man in blackface. <laughs> oh, yeah, true. Um, I agree with you. I think that he's, yeah, he's just such a fascinating guy, and he's kind of always been the same way. And I do kind of feel like that is how he's, like, in real life, in the worst way, you know? Yeah. Like, where it's just, like, uh, but I have also heard that he i think for nathan for you especially like it's like his personality but he's like learned sort of w ways to play up like his awkwardness from when he was young, like yes. younger and he but then there's also clearly stuff that he like still is struggling with or coming to terms he's like present the, the way he presents his ideas and like his i mean his vocal pattern you don't make up 10 years prior for the canadian tv shows he would do and then like in the hope you yeah can yeah it. Uh, it's yeah. it, that sincere. I think what he's really, really good at is um, pushing what people might assume he would be capable of feeling. You know what I mean? Like, you meet this guy who he is an awkward person. Now, would this awkward person 
suddenly try setting up a date between me, the person on the show, and one of his producers. That seems like a weird thing to do, but it's in the realm of being awkward. And like, yeah. there's a, the one where they, uh, Nathan for you, where he tries to make the cleans your house in one hour. Uh, he gets like a, a full made company and sends 40 people into this one guy's house. <laughs> and it's cutting between that happening in like hyper, hypertension, uh, Chris Nolan strings in the background, and then him just chatting to the house owner on the porch. And he's just like, yeah. so are you, are you dating anyone right now? Yeah. And he's like, LA is a crazy town, you know. Um, right now, I'm, um, you know, my wife went off with a, a swim instructor, and I'm just here training dogs. And then, <laughs> and then Nathan just is re- like, Nathan, if you, if I was trying to play up awkwardness, I would like try and heighten that, right? But his yeah. instinct is so much better. He just goes, he just goes, oh crap. <laughs> 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 it's so pitch perfect. And I feel like that has to come from that's like literally the first thing you think. And then you have to, you have to like, you know, most people would <laughs> read the room. Yeah. So good. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, yeah. Oh, crap. That even was like uh, in the rehearsal when um, he was talking to the guy about. Well, it's the first, the first, the first guy, the first episode, the trivia man, who is very strange, who cares too much about trivia, <laughs> and also has very unrealistic um, understanding of like how the stakes of yeah. <laughs> the stakes of the situation. The that he's the, in. Uh, the repercussion of telling someone, "Hey, you don't need to email me job positions once every six months. Don't yeah, worry about doing that anymore." <laughs> Instead, it's my whole education has yeah. been a sham. <laughs> they know that. It's like, dude, it's not that serious. Oh man, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna describe this episode of the rehearsal just just very briefly because I want people that haven't seen it. I want to I want them to gauge their own reaction on like when you think I've finished because <laughs> it sounds like I've got to say that. <laughs> so Nathan Fielder, premise of the rehearsal is that you get somebody with a particular problem or goal in life, and then you create an overly elaborate scenario where they're able to rehearse, practice it. The rehearsal. In this case, his very first, I want to say client. <laughs> that, does, that's, that always seems insulting to the idea of business. <laughs> that's like Nathan for you. His first, yeah. Uh, the, the first person is, as Jarvis said, big fan of trivia. He's a member of a trivia team. It's his main kind of portal for. He's like 50 or something. Yeah, he's uh, it's in Seattle, I think. Yeah. And so they always go to the same pub and they play trivia. They do it every week. Often they'll meet up independently and do trivia. They are just, just they're wacky for trivia. And when I say wacky for trivia, trivia, I mean, think of your most evangelical uncle. Like, <laughs> just a born-again trivia player. Like, so intent. To the point where, at one point, Nathan's like, well, you could, like... He's meeting up with a friend at this bar to play trivia as a reason to reveal to her that he doesn't actually have a master's degree. I know, it sounds like a big deal. Yeah, his biggest... I just want to say that his biggest problem, and the reason that he came to Nathan, was... <clears throat> That one of his friends that he plays trivia with doesn't know, or his trivia friends don't know that he doesn't have a master's degree. He just has a bachelor's degree because years ago he went along with a misunderstanding that he all like, because everyone in the trivia group had a master's degree. So he was kind of just like me too. Mm. And then everyone just kind of assumed he had a master's degree. To which and so only now, one person has ever referenced again, ever. And that yeah. referencing is her occasionally. Like once every four months, sending him a job posting. It's like, hey, they yeah, they with that master's requires degree. a master's degree, which he's internalized as like our relationship is rocky. <laughs> and over the course yeah. of a forty-five minute, fifty-minute episode, no breaks. <laughs> he is like break. <laughs> they go over and over and over again. Nathan Fielder builds a full-scale one-to-one recreation of the bar, including every single prop and bottle in exactly the right place. Inside of a warehouse. Yeah, there's like, to the extent that there is a balloon in the corner <laughs> that, in the that corner. he also recreated, yeah. And then he, the biggest moment of tension in the entire show is a moment where this uh, uh, Johnny, Johnny Come Trivia, whatever his name is. He is his, so, his name is kind of funny, too. It's uh, Trivia James. <laughs> it is, yeah, it is no, it's Tr- Trinidad James, Trivia <laughs> James. Um, he is... Concerned that he's not going to be able to pay attention to the trivia 
because he's having to he's tense and worried that he's gonna have to tell his friend about this information to the point where nathan's like well we could just you know cheat i mean we could just get you the paper that's not a lot of of work for us and the the flavor of the room changes like you know when you like look along the a surface level of a road in a in a desert yeah. and you see a wobble you see like the yeah. mirage it's like that there's like a yeah. mirage in the, the room. heat the heat wave like yeah. yeah the kanji that comes off a jojo's bizarre adventure character like when they're like, yeah. they're like intimidating you he, he's like so weird and tense audience member that's not seen the show you might now be thinking and so something happened right and there's a big something happened now no he's just weird about trivia and that's yeah no that's the show he's just like i can't do that's he, he was like this is just a rehearsal this doesn't no because even in the rehearsal he like made up trivia questions and because core that's his name couldn't like he messed up some of the trivia questions that were just in the rehearsal that weren't even real trivia questions. <laughs> he started getting more focused on doing well at trivia in the rehearsal. That they than only they on the are tab- playing. <laughs> <laughs> that only Nathan Fielder and Core are playing. Like then actually like doing the thing he came there to do. And Nathan's like, this doesn't matter. It's just the rehearsal. And he's like, it always matters. Trivia matters. <laughs> Which I, I can't help but respect. If it's a passion, it's a passion. Yeah, it's true. Do you have an equivalent? Do you have like a... I mean, we're both passionate. We, you know, we find something that we care about. We will go to the nines, right? Yeah. But is there one right now that actively, if, uh, you know, you go to the beach and somebody's like, we're going to play volleyball, but just for fun. I'm like, not for fun. Volleyball is the sport of kings. <laughs> yeah, I... Mm. I think I've gotten better in life at being able to do things just for fun. Cause I think anything competitive I used to take too seriously. Um, and now I could just be like, Oh, ha ha. But even at like an arcade, if you're playing like air hockey or something, uh, I would, I would be like, no, this is serious. <laughs> it's like, this is a serious air hockey game. Yeah. Um, anything outside of like it, games or competition, just like straight up. Hmm disciplines Ooh, no i don't know nothing comes to mind i tell you what i actually i think you maybe you'll relate to this uh something i can't do for fun or i can't do without having to account for what it will it will trigger a certain serious part of my brain i can't watch like commentary youtube if i'm not in a place where i'm able to if i'm not excited about what's going on or i'm not working on a video already there is always a part of my brain that's going to get knocked into thinking about work oh yeah that's me too yeah which was a real ball ache at patreon because it just meant it basically just meant content like if i watched a new creator and they were good fuck sake yeah i think um i on my own like if i'm with a friend or something and they want to watch that then i don't have a problem with it but um it does make me think about work if i like watch another commentary youtube video yeah. on my on my own time or like not during the work day i usually try to avoid it do you think you mainly because the videos that we'll send each other for the most part are i mean for those of they're speed running videos but like <laughs> i get a lot of catharsis something i've it. never done and ever never ever do. ever <laughs> same goes for like uh, fighting games i don't watch videos of fighting yeah. games i play <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I actually don't play that. any fighting games really i just follow competitive like sports storylines there's something or esports storyline maybe it's because it is so far away you know what i mean it's there's so much distance that i can't even really like uh if i watch a really really good speed run video i have no desire to make one a video mm-hmm. about it i have no desire to do a really good speed run and I have no desire to like uh, have to think critically about how the video is put together. It's just purely yeah. like kind of spectacular. Because I, I also don't know enough of the nuances of like that particular game that I get to lean back yeah. and just be like, oh, I'm like a kid that doesn't know wrestling is like kind of pretend. I'm just watching it and I don't know any of the terminology. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, was, I also get to feel like I'm educating myself on something that doesn't matter. I think if I were to ever, like whenever I watch videos of people like... Um grinding like a speed run or even like labbing something out in like a fighting game i'm like what a waste of time (laughs) i'm like it couldn't be me but then what i i like 
Uh, because that's because I project myself into that situation, into that scenario. But if I were just enjoying it as a like consumer, then it's awesome and there's no problem. I just I just know I can't do it. I yeah. think that's one of my biggest issues with my brain is that I will like ask myself if something is productive and not be able to like just enjoy like resting. Mm -hmm. Even though I feel like I rest too much, I can't like go in between um like uh there's even certain I mean, I've been bad at watching like narrative Netflix shows in the past couple of years that I want to watch because I'm afraid it's like an ADHD thing. Like my attention is going to have to fully be on the show and no, I, I don't want to I fully agree. engage my attention. Uh, no, I, ha I have that issue with uh, documentaries. Mm. If I don't think I'm going to be able to like comprehend it fully and be and retain anything. Cause I've watched documentaries that I really enjoy in the moment. But the thing is about like, it's not short form, but you know, shorter than a book, like a short form entertainment yeah. that's in, uh, uh, educating you on something is there's no rehearsal stage like your, your mm -hmm. hippocampus is not absorbing it completely so if you rewatch a documentary you're gonna it'll be feel like you learn things like it's the same information again yeah. same goes for video essays but it's so cathartic in the moment to feel like well i'm having a good time and this, this these thoughts are sinking into me that yeah sometimes if i watch a documentary and i know like well if i'm not paying attention and i'm re-saying the things to myself i'll never have this trivia about how hot the desert is yeah. on a wednesday you know it doesn't matter <laughs> yeah but. and also it's entertainment and i would be entertained by doing it yeah what else what exactly am i am i trading for trivia you know what else what other value <laughs> yeah, yeah. am i supposed to get out of Dude, it trivia is the only thing you care about you only go to um, trivia. uh i used to go to trivia a lot um yeah like i used to go to trivia like every week and uh, i miss it i did enjoy going to trivia i would say i'm like average at it i enjoy it though um, and I do have a lot of trivial knowledge. It's just it, it's just in weird places that never come up in traditional bar trivia. YouTube analytics, guitar. Hero. No, like like old video games yeah. and shit like that. Like just like um, it's like uh, the I'm pretty sure that the creator of the Atari and the inventor of Chuck E. Cheese are the same person, <laughs> Nolan Bushnell. Let me see. <laughs> uh, by the way, it was Nolan Bushnell. <laughs> so. I do know a little Ding. trivia. That's one down. Um, uh, yeah, I'm gonna log that for trivia. People are gonna be so impressed. What were we talking about? Uh, we were talking about trivia and obsessions, or like trivia obsessions. Oh, yes, I have. So you know, <clears throat> something that to, to your so my I can watch documentaries, like documentaries and anything that's rooted in the real world. I can just like listen to it in the background and it's great. I, I, I feel like that's all I watch now. It's just like information. I don't know why. But um, one thing that I, I wanted to talk about on the podcast, but I was embarrassed because I couldn't think of any specifics, even though I've consumed hours and hours and hours of this content, is lost media. Are you familiar with lost media? Like is lost media like... Video well, okay, games so, are famously badly archived, so there's just a bunch of games that don't exist anymore. That I mean, that would count as lost media. But that lost media is the uh, umbrella term for, you know, um, game shows that never aired, okay, video cool. games that never released, pilot, like pilot, uh, pilots, pilots that, that are lost. And CBC yeah. yeah, and like there's some there's so much stuff like that that's like been lost and found. So some stuff that was like badly archived, like famously. Doctor Who, the initial seasons were like taped over um, because like the BBC like didn't um, like at the time TV was seen as this transitory thing mm -hmm. and the tapes that and, they. And a lot of that was filmed on VHS and tape because it was really yeah. affordable, which is insane. And so, yeah, tapes were expensive. And so they would always just reuse the tapes. And so there was this like whole process by which um the bbc kind of caught on to this like l like gap in their archive and like the value of having the archive especially after a certain point with doctor who and i think for other stuff as well that they started like reaching out to affiliate stations and things like that to go to try and find these missing episodes because there may be extra copies that aired elsewhere or what have you there was like famously some like house that burned down or something or someone in their attic Oh, oh, 
I want to say it was like, oh gosh, I think it was maybe like a church, an old church that found two film canisters that had two lost episodes of Doctor Who like on it. <laughs> like, like that kind of shit is Dog, like, that's so the crazy. Power of prayer. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Matt Smith when it, and, <laughs> Matt Smith and David Tennant went into a church. And so yeah. this guy knocked over one of the like prayer candles, started the fire, and exposed the. They're, I hear they're rebooting National Treasure about this. <laughs> about this guy. Finding it, not even Recovering looking for it, just like coincidentally, of... really. Oh shit! It's the Constitution. Um, An old church. <laughs> oh, but I actually, yeah, I found the Constitution in the church, oh. and there's a map on the back. I can't of it? watch this. So, I. I love it. I will watch it about like video games, about game shows, about like literally just anything. I'm trying to think of good, um, ex like there's some, you know, games that never released or got canned. Yeah. And then like later, like there's like a Sonic, um, I want to say it was like a Sonic for the Sega Saturn. There was going to be the first 3D Sonic that um, was canceled. And then later, like some developer like dumped like dumped like a working prototype of the game yeah. which is like like that type of stuff is so cool because it's just like all this history that was thought to be was thought to be lost um and a lot of the time when people do rom hacks of like uh old n64 games or old snes games you'll just find assets that weren't being used which is yeah like well there's rare, like the giga leak the storage is so tiny most things will just get deleted yeah, if yeah. there's a dependency on something like a sound effect yeah it'll just still be there and uh Ocarina especially. Ocarina of Time has a ton of that stuff. Like it has like uh It does. Uh Star Fox. The Star Fox ship is available if you like uh mm -hmm. ROM hack through the cheats. Or through and the there's like code. some Super Mario sixty four assets because they were initially like testing the engine. There's an stuff, unused but... Luigi in there that you can get on the DS version that uh Yeah. The last time I, uh, one of the most significant events of my life, seeing my dad for the first time in like since I was a little baby. Nice to see you, mate. I'm busy. I'm uh, just unlocking Yoshi. <laughs> <laughs> do, well, do you know about the El is Real stuff? Yeah, yeah. The arcade cabinet, right? Oh, no, sorry. The, well, no, the no. Zelda one. This is Super Mario card, 64. Right? Well, so, no, this is like, um, there's this, uh, basically, the, oh, this is a story of Lost some Media shit? as well. Oh, they thought it was? No. Sorry, this is about... <laughs> um, is this a movie so there, <laughs> there's a uh there's like a fountain in super mario 64 that has this like text on it but it's really hard to decipher mm -hmm. and some people for a long time and this is like for decades thought it said l is real uh, 1972 or 2022 or something something like that it was like l is real in like some year and um people thought it was like evidence that luigi was in the game and so that there were all these um like Lu Luigi was in Mario 64. Mm -hmm. And then there were all these like hoax videos where people would be like, oh, I found out how to unlock Luigi. Or there was like, oh, if you beat the game under certain certain difficulty, you know, very similar to the like Pokemon, how to get Mew stuff. <laughs> right. And, uh, and obviously like we decompiled Mario 64. There's no Luigi or whatever. But then the Giga Leak happened. And the Giga Leak is this... um. So there are like when you write code, there's a um, there's these like repositories that that are track the history of the the code and the development. So like all every change to every piece of code is like tracked, and these code repositories were found from a part someone who had like I think it was a leak from someone who had partnered with Nintendo in like the nineties, and. Nintendo had shared their code repositories with, I believe it was people who were porting uh, these old Nintendo games to like some short oh, I see. Okay. Like Chinese game console. But anyway, the original code base was there, or at least some snapshot of it. And in the original code base for Mario 64, people actually found, and this is like two years ago, people actually found that there was a, not only a Luigi model, but a scrapped co-op in Super Mario 64. Jesus that originally did have Luigi. And so people like took that and kind of uh, took that model and like put it in Mario 64 and then like kind of fixed the co-op and then like made it so that you could play like this like lost co-op. So the the mystery of like L is real, even though that fountain probably never said L is real to begin with, the Luigi was actually <laughs> planned for Super Mario 64 and then was like cut for time. They had a connection um, to, the, but, but, to, the, to the, the code base in their brain, even though they yeah, were interpreting it. They saw Jesus in the toast. 
Yeah, exactly. It's like, it's not in the cartridge itself, but it was like in the code repository. And similarly for Ocarina of Time, a lot of stuff leaked as well. Like the super, super high res images of um the like items and stuff. So like everything is like down downscaled to be displayed on the uh N64. But like have you ever seen like a high def version of like the like the art that the models are based on? Like yeah. that kind of shit. It is like it is like zooming in on SpongeBob. At. Yeah, it is like zooming in on SpongeBob. Yeah. So that stuff fascinates me. Um, if anybody has interesting stories, you can hit us up. Is there an email address for the podcast, Javi? Where people can also um, send in pen pals emails? If, now, if okay. we did, it would be something along the lines of sadboyspod at gmail.com. And we don't. That would be good. Somebody should get that. <laughs> Somebody should take that since we don't do that. <laughs> yeah, since we uh, don't have it. In this theoretical situation, Jordan. you should also add um, uh, pen pals somewhere in the title or the body of the email because I'm not going to find it otherwise. It's oh, if you want to send us a send us a little, yeah. If we did it's funny because we've done call outs for that, but we haven't actually put out any of these episodes, episodes yet. Yet. So first so, episode yeah. from being back drops tomorrow. This means nothing to you if you are listening right now. <laughs> but imagine, imagine. Um, what is there? Do you want to transition into the thing you wanted to show me? Oh boy. Yeah, I do. It needs to be done. But I need, <laughs> I need you understand what you what you've asked me without knowing it is like, hey, can you just shoot me in the arm real quick? <laughs> yeah, kick, yeah. Could kick you? me as hard as you can directly in the testicles. That would be sick for you to do. Please, please do the that. Podcast? Actually, yeah. Uh, right. Yeah. Okay. Let me. Uh... <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, she said, "Let me out." Let me. <laughs> You're like, me let up. me out. Wake me up when <laughs> September ends. Wake me up inside. Wake me inside September. Um, let me, I'm gonna make it so you can share this your screen. Right. Um, I feel ethically uh, uh, concerned, but to to squash any ethical concerns <laughs> I feel that I have, concerned. I, I I will say in advance, um, tough shit. I mean, I, I guess that's the only way I could. Oh, anyway, t- t- tough shit, Jarvis. It's for content. Damn. Bro. Okay. You know, L plus ratio on this one. My bad. L is real. Damn. And you just took L it. is real. <laughs> yeah, that is the game it. Yeah. Uh, okay, there is. Uh, um, now, I know for a fact that you haven't seen it because, uh, I, I, you know, we, we have a little show prep, a uh, little show uh, prep doc just for like, hey, is there any, any links we want to check out or something you want to talk about today? And I put in um, ambiguous posts like I have in here, including Jordan's Monk. <laughs> Which we'll talk yeah, about next what is, week. What does that mean? No, it's my yeah. little secret. Uh, <laughs> You're Tony Shaloub. Oh, shut up. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> okay, I, okay. I mean, I am mentally unwell. <laughs> I, am, like monk in that I am Tony Shaloub, actually. Uh, do you want to actually... I am Tony Shaloub's monk. Yeah, Austin, we can cut this if we don't include it, but since um this bit we're about to do, it will translate in audio, but even better in video. Do you want to do your reading your phone notes? Because I know we didn't get to that last week, and I am curious about that. Um... Yeah, well, I think we should do the like. I think we should not cut it out of the audio thing because Anastasia had that point about even if we're having to describe yeah. it. But um, all right. Let's see. <laughs> all right, so let's do. So first, let's get into uh, Jarvis reads his phone notes for the first time um, <laughs> all week that he's been re- writing all week. Do you I have it um, written? Can we have a shout out to the audience of anybody? Any entrepreneuring young emotional pervert wants to put together maybe a five second stinger theme song oh yeah and title it i mean wait can we come up with a title i mean jarvis reads his phone notes for the first time in a week yeah it does that <laughs> in five his... seconds with music <laughs> yeah i don't know Perfect. um all right so i have something for a uh, so-called sb ideas which is i added this right before we recorded and i completely forgot until this moment okay. because when i logged into my computer um what's that Epic Games Launcher. I think it's called Epic Games Launcher. But yeah, just Epic Games. Um, yeah. The, I got a notification about Hogwarts Legacy, mm-hmm. which is a video game, I suppose. Yep. It looks and like the, the pitch for it was experience Hogwarts in the 1800s. <laughs> and I, I wrote, why would I want to do that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Because, I don't know, just doesn't sound appealing. Uh, it doesn't sound like the best place for us to be at the time. Yeah, uh, or I'm anywhere. just thinking about that. Also, like, um, what, before all the stuff happened? <laughs> yeah. Before all the but, events yeah, of the movies uh, and the yeah, books? Okay. So what you're saying is, go to school. I mean, that's what yeah. that was before those, that stuff happened. Experience, yeah. Experience America in the 1800s. A video game they would never make. <laughs> unless it was, like, a war. Um, <laughs> Then I have Lost Media, so we did talk mm-hmm. about that. Um, there is a note here that says crazy dream, and I don't know what the dream is. So let me see if I can write down. Da- let me see if I search for this dream. Was it faking a speed run? Okay, I searched. I don't know if this is the correct thing. I this is, But this is a note in Jarvis's phone notes. This is from July, though, so it's definitely not the same thing. I had a dream I really had to pee and was standing at a urinal. Dangerous stuff. Because <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, I was like, maybe I was other really. Speech, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I had a dream. Very t- uh, pretty dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> dangerous stuff. Um, is that what you said? Dangerous, dangerous stuff. stuff. Yeah, because <laughs> I was like about to pee. Um, uh, <laughs> bending over hurts. <laughs> Sorry, um, I know you mean dangerous stuff because you would just piss yourself in bed. But there's something funny to me about yeah. the fact of you in real life standing at a urinal looking down, going dangerous stuff. Dangerous stuff. Look out, everybody. <laughs> um, bending over hurts? Question mark. Tightness. Mm-hmm. I've been going to physical therapy because I tweaked my back. So that's what that's about. Um, this happened this week. I told my therapist I am too sad to talk to them. <laughs> <laughs> Which is true. I did. I can't I said, talk I right don't... now. I'm in kind of a mood. Do you have anybody I can talk to? <laughs> yeah. No, I literally was like, I don't want to talk right now. I don't want to talk about things. I much rather do chores around the house. And she was like, okay, mm. that's fine. And so I did chores around the house. Does that help? Expressing it physically instead of... Uh... Yeah, I think what... Let me let me read... Shout out to my therapist. What did my therapist <laughs> say in response to this? Um, They said... Oh, shit. Where's the text at? I said, I'm just having a rough mental health day and I'd rather do chores right now than talk, if that makes sense. She says, yes, I understand. Physical activity is good. I'd also suggest playing with Dipper and or taking him for a walk to self-regulate. Take care. Nice. Okay. uh, Didn't ask. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. I was like, lame. Um, Okay. Patronizing. (laughs) Um, Who the hell are you to be advised? I also wrote down, and this is just a, this is just kind of an example of notes that I write to myself that theoretically I would understand, but still don't. Yeah. I wrote down cancel the boxes. <laughs> I believe that's in reference to things that are being shipped to my old address. Sure. Like um, I was getting like a bark box, like for Dipper, and and I like <laughs> moved boxes, that to the new address. Sense. Um. <sighs> I, there are, there are um, a number of plants that I'm now responsible for at this new property. There's four fruit trees, and uh, my landlord was teaching me how to water them, and and I put in my calendar that I need to water on Sundays and Wednesdays. Um, and that I also wrote down Halloween costume. But I didn't write down what. what it was. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. Okay, so that's just literally oh. nothing then. It's the idea that's of what. nothing. Yeah. Maybe it's to think about a Halloween costume sure. because October is approaching, which you are now doing. So 100 percent success rate on that note. Yeah. Uh, oh, dude, I got some suggestions. Don't you worry about that. I'm gonna probably. I mean, I'll be coming back to LA at some point in October, so I'm tempted to do like two different costumes. You know, make my choice. It, it uh, domestically be something nice and pat- patriotic, like I don't know, Guy Fawkes or something. And then, not actually. Can you f- fucking imagine if I wore a V for Vendetta mask? I would have to retire from the internet. <laughs> uh, you and me, at some point, I want to do something Dragon Ball. I want to be some Z Warriors. Oh yeah, that'd be fun. I mean? But that's a that's an elaborate Z-Warriors. put together. I I've I've to this day never seen a good Goku cosplay. It's hard. I just don't know if it's possible. I think it's just like there's something about the orange and the blue and just like how the fabric never looks good. Mm-hmm. 
It's like if you look at like behind the scenes photos of a superhero movie and without the right lighting and color grade, you can see the muscles that are like drawn on it or like how yeah, the contours yeah. are like pre fit and stuff. Yeah. Goku needs harsh though, shadows. It just looks like he's wearing a duvet. Yeah, though um I want to shout out my friend uh or I mean, we went to college together and we're mutuals, but um <laughs> but we are not. Cutie Pie Sensei who's a cosplayer who does incredible cosplay work and does like superhero cosplays that look, I mean, I think she's since like gotten to go to movie premieres, like, like, look at this. I don't even. That's legit. Yeah. It's crazy. But she's like, she's like an artist in like a, she like kind of builds all the cosplays herself. And, and then like Marvel was like, wait, this is actually pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, but that, yeah, that's how it's supposed to work. You are, but it's supposed to be yeah. uh, contorted to camera and stuff like that. Because things just don't look real. Yeah. Um, cameras are weird like that. But it is. Yeah. Cosplay always seemed to me like something that, because uh, I know so many people that are like, oh, well, Halloween's coming up. So I was thinking about doing this kind of cosplay and like use the term cosplay. I'm like, okay, but when we say cosplay, we're talking about a very specific thing, aren't we? We're talking about like Meg Turney. We're talking about these big, elaborate, full scale costumes that hours go into. Right. And there's. The same part of my brain that goes, yeah, I could put that costume together is the same part of me that looks at like the Mona Lisa is like, it'd be hard, but I could, yeah. I, I mean, could I could do it. I it's just like it. a woman, I suppose. She's like a woman. She's not even smiling. I don't even have to draw teeth. She's not even smiling. That's, everyone knows that's the hardest part. <laughs> <laughs> I can draw a frown. I can do medium. But I, I, yeah, everyone can draw. Yeah, it's like. I draw the on, smile, the smile, but the paint the drips part. down. I can't keep that smile up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's too heavy. Uh, one second. I'm going to grab some water, and then I'm going to um, traumatize you with content. Does that sound good? Yes. Yes, sounds good. Water. Bow. Doo -doo -doo. <laughs> This kid, he's back. He's back to traumatize me with content. What up? He's back to traumatize me with content. <laughs> he's back to kill me with video. <laughs> the way, I mean, hey, video gives us life. Video take it away. Yeah, true. Video giveth career. <laughs> and that's why I will be murdered on video. <laughs> um, hey, everybody, just want to give a quick shout out. Uh, dropping some merch this week. We've got uh, another tour coming up, and then I will be being murdered on camera. Uh, a, a sniper shot from the distance will stop me from saying, from speaking truth to power and saying stuff like, ah, oh, Black White's not a very good show, is it? <laughs> oh, uh, uh, Cloudflare dropped Kiwi Farms. It so. happened? Yeah. Oh my god. Uh live wait. Um Um live sad boys reaction moment. Do do one of those <laughs> soy faces, you know? Like for a thumbnail. Oh dude, we can we should put that in the thumbnail of the video. <laughs> like the episode should be that. Uh yeah, okay. Wow, that's surprisingly soon anyway it's time for jordan to traumatize me with content what are we watching once again once again oh here we are back back in our comfort zone jarvis you could <laughs> say though I, I hate to admit this fact you could say that a pretty significant number of people would directly associate us as a duo with um racist video <laughs> you know <laughs> that's not wrong uh yeah no, a not insignificant number of people have sat through the full vods over an hour of us watching that's ridiculous racist video. we still have to finish it by the way we still have to finish it i think it's an in person though right oh yeah October. i'm down I'm yeah back. um and i think we have to knock it has to all be in one what's two episodes left <laughs> yeah, two episodes. yeah two, two episodes speaking of traumatizing us with, with racist content uh spoiler alert this one i don't want to say it's racist maybe that's 
maybe that's a little extreme. You can be the judge. You, you create. You invented the term racism. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's true. I, judging by my brown check mark, I did invent the uh, the concept of racism. Now, uh, I I love I love to laugh. What can I say? I love to stream. I love okay. to laugh. And on occasion, I'll I'll have a little stream with my with my chat with my fun little pals that give me the good jokes. True. I do them and I don't attribute them to chat. Hey, I love to stream. I don't always plan on making a video. All my videos I record on stream, sometimes I just want a little break. Sometimes I just want to go live and I want somebody to say, you going to shave yet? Hey, when are you going to shave? And I go, "With what are you doing? <laughs> I'm trying to play The Sims 3, please. Or 4. Yeah. One, yeah. And on occasion, somebody will share a link and it really does blow me away. That happened this last time that I streamed and it included, they provided what otherwise would just be a full video plan. We have live Jordan reaction. But now that I've been able to process it emotionally and I can be kind of our, um, the buoy for this, as you sink right. to the bottom of the, the <laughs> Papa buoy. <laughs> because I'm the Papa buoy. <laughs> Papa buoy, Papa buoy. I can keep us afloat because this, this video is an anchor and it's going to drag you down in the deep blue sea. <laughs> oh dear. I'm, I'm now, I'm now nervous. Shall I, I uh, wasn't nervous before. Shall I stream my ass to you? Yes, yeah, could you please stream your ass? Stream the camera that's on your ass, yeah. Uh, I don't, for people listening to Sad Boys, we, you see our faces, but we actually have ass cams. Yeah, of course. Oh, you're not on the Patreon? And I, <laughs> yeah, if you turn on the Patreon, you can see the ass cams. Oh, dude, we would, oh, we would okay. make so much fucking money. Oh, God, <laughs> like dude, literally... my ass is not meant to be broadcast. Oh, my God. Yeah, but there's a demo. A portion of the audience <laughs> is always going to be in for our ass. Um, all right, so uh, what can I should something... I describe for the audio listeners what I'm seeing? Well, I well, it's just a black screen. Did something jump out to you about this YouTube video? Already? Oh, well, maybe just the title of the video oh, being damn. "Racist Quote Unquote Asian Girls with a Z Song" by Day Above Ground. You could call it again. This is it's not my word. I'm not one to suppress free speech, as it were. Um, so the <laughs> YouTube certainly isn't. <laughs> this is uploaded <laughs> no. nearly ten years ago, and oh, they're like, yeah. "Cool." This is uploaded only ten years ago. The song came out around that in 2013, and um, it boggles my mind that this is not a bigger point of conversation. I'm sure other people have talked about it, but Jarvis, I love bad racist music videos. You know that about me. I I do know. I that want about to be you, ninja yeah. is my favorite video on YouTube. <laughs> Finally. Finally. Mine is Midlife Rapper <laughs> by Bruno. <laughs> yeah, good point. <laughs> yeah, we should, we should I'm a remake midlife that video. rapper. Oh, and I rap from A to Z. Dude, when we I'm rap I'm middle aged this... and dapper with a vocabulary. <laughs> Very depressing this is day in your brain. <laughs> so much I know. I was like pretty impressed. I don't think I know any vocabulary. lyric after that. Uh, so, uh, baggy rap pants. Rap. Roll it second down my butt. Or <laughs> something like that. Hey, no particular I don't race, call them right? hoes and sluts. sluts Could be sluts, any, sluts, and, sluts. And who does? I don't know. Yeah. Nobody in particular. Who did you think I met? <laughs> yeah. Who's the real uh, black, white racist? Uh, this one's, um, it's a little like that. If you transplant the, the subgenre, maybe a little bit. This is closer to kind of the, the, the vibe that maybe you and I might have enjoyed in 2013, musically. Because oh. But I see. Uh, so if you cast your mind back, what is 2013? Childish Gambino's camp. Yes. Uh, take away if 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 you really just completely crackerize <laughs> Childish Gambino's camp. Just, just I see. Really, yeah. ooh, really infuse it, and then add a a, a tasty dollop of uh, uh, fetishizing Asian women. Th then you get oh, Childish Gambino had that. Oh, that's a good point. <laughs> Actually, yeah. Wow. Oh, black and yellow. Yeah. Black and yellow. Yeah. Uh, UCLA. Actually, I think maybe he inspired this. Let's have a little look. See here. <laughs> okay. This is um, a song that um, uh, that you wrote called Asian Girls. What? <laughs> not not me. Not me. I didn't write oh. this. Oh oh. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna sit back a little bit in the cut here. Um, if any <laughs> lyric is unclear to you, let me just. Very important that my audio is is shared, although the video itself is disturbing. Uh, wait. Uh, let me just uh, as a test. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just uh, testing this audio. <laughs> I can't hear it. Uh, momento. I actually have never seen this. <laughs> oh, you've never seen I Want to Be Ninja? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I have not. <laughs> wait, wait. Uh, my soundboard takes a bit. Takes a bit. <laughs> I can't hear it. I got it on my soundboard. 
Uh, wait. Through my headphones. Perfect. I've never done. Stream stream oh, you just gotta check that checkbox when oh, you do the share. Is it in like preferences? Oh, oh no! Literally, uh, when I just doing share it. again, and then there's a share. There's oh a checkbox for sharing that audio. Sharing. There we go. Yeah. Just get a quick audio test on this. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Wait. Can we? So can I just say? Have you seen the ninjas like quitting the, in, streaming? Oh really? Completely. Well, well, he like, like he had like a little rage quit moment on stream, and then he changed his default. Wait, go to this is important. Go to Ninja's Twitter right now. Mm, yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh he, wow, he really has quit streaming. Look at him now. <laughs> yeah, dude, he full. He did a full pivot. <laughs> it's completely different. <laughs> oh <wild>. god, <laughs> he is a lot different. <laughs> Uh, um, leave that one. <laughs> mixer changed him. Now he's a literal mixer. <laughs> oh, the, look! Look at him. <laughs> the second most popular one. Uh, yeah. Wow. Uh, uh, so just go to his Twitter. Oh my God, you big baby. Yeah. So <laughs> this so, is like on AIM. I would change my name to something mopey when I was in a bad mood. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, don't even exactly ask me about it. it. I don't want to talk about he, it. He did a um. He changed his username to user not found he changed his banner image to timeout and he changed his image to a stock like deep is that even the default image Does, doesn't twitter still do eggs I, I think egg the ear of the egg is over which it makes me very sad oh, okay now it is um uh, the sideways pig nostril sideways is that is so is that a default i believe this is, is it looks like i default? always thought it looked like a top of a soda can Oh, it does look like the top of a soda can. Okay. Oh, and he moved to Illinois. I, I, Whoa. I, I, and he, okay. he decided he rejoined in November 2010. That's why. <laughs> he went back in time and he did it. Yeah. All right. But anyway, yeah. If you like find the clip of uh, him quitting, it's like the funniest thing because, because it's. Uh, they're playing like the new Dragon Ball Z Fortnite. Or oh, whatever. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they're like flying around on Nimbus, and then I don't actually know. Oh. I don't actually understand oh. enough about Fortnite to know what happened. Well, I mean, I think we can safely say it's the uh, rage quitting and getting just generally mad is the second worst thing that you can do as a famous white streamer on a on a battleground game. <laughs> True. Ninja. Can't do any more, dude. Can't. What happened? <coughs> I'm fucking sick of this, dude. I'm sick of these fucking players spamming Riftigos every single. I, 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 I've, I've had enough, man. No, I'm not even fucking kidding, dude. I've had enough. I can't even. I'm not even. I'm. I'm leaving. No way. I'm. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. In fact, I'm honestly, dude. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna. I gotta take a break from streaming, dude. I'm gonna fucking. I'm gonna lose my fucking mind, bro. I'm sorry, dude. I know that we're, I know we were supposed to play all day. I, I, I can't. It's all good, man. I'm all sorry, good. dude. I, I'll talk to the other side. Chat, I don't know. I don't know when I'm going to be live, man. I don't know where I'm going to be live next, but I got to. I got to get off, man. Interesting. You know, was there, so you know, it kind of feels like it kind of feels. So here's the thing. He's no longer partnered on Twitch. So it kind of feels like it might be a marketing stunt because he he's prop maybe going to youtube after this because he keeps saying like i just need a break i don't know when i'll be back or where so it kind of feels like he, it kind of feels fake to be honest yeah and but i don't know what rifting means because i don't play fortnite yeah me neither or at the very least not since that became a thing that i wasn't aware of uh yeah maybe it i gotta say can you imagine how great this would be if it's because somebody hit him with like big bang attack or some shit? <laughs> <laughs> somebody came out of him and he's just yeah. like, I need, a, I need a break. He's like, dude, I can't do it. I just can't I do, can't it do this anymore. It's funny because like, yeah. his reaction is like very, I understand it, right? Like it's, it, I can yeah. completely understand that sensation of burnout, but it, it or even frustration, totally. right? Sometimes, especially. With, totally. Uh, not often, but on like a, a couple of occasions with, on the stream, I've got like a beat of, uh, rejection sensitivity and it just like 
Oh, dude, I same all the time. I, I 90% so I of the time it like belittle that. Yeah. It processes past because I can, you know, perform a, I can lay that barrier over it. But it takes 50% of the RAM. Like it just absorbs so much in my brain that sometimes I'm yeah. tired. I'll just be like, actually, that's it for me today. That is like, it's weird that they provided that much context. Where's, am I crazy? Like the thing, if rifting, God, boom a moment. If that, if that took place, <laughs> are you winning, son? If uh, he rifted, right? What went? <laughs> that, didn't, so, that wasn't then, was it? Yeah, it was. But the thing is, I think it's more like the aftermath. Like, yeah. The fact that he keeps like he keeps subtly going, guys. I don't know when I'll be back or where. Yeah, building like that kind of feels like a little. It like the the fact that he had the presence of mind to end that stream and go. I'm not sure, you know, when I'll be back, guys, or where. You but know what keep, I mean? But keep like, an eye out, and also I'm gonna. Uh, this, I mean, this also, takes time. This is this. He invested time in changing this. It wasn't. Also, you you don't just automatically unpartner on Twitch. Yeah, that's a really good point. You know what I mean? Yeah, Even you can't subscribe to Ninja like, on Twitch anymore. That's fascinating. Okay. You know what I mean? Huh. So I don't want to belittle if there's like a sort of, I, I don't want to belittle burnout or the concept, but I swear to God, if he's, okay, maybe this is, uh, maybe this is cynical of me, but if, if he's performing burnout to promote a YouTube contract, I'm going to be upset. Yeah. <laughs> 50,000 of my head is disrespect in that case. Yeah. But the thing, yeah, it's like, I want to call it out, but there's just too much. It just feels so. Uh, what's the word? Rehearsed? So like this is the this is the the one for me. It, it's it's yeah. the aesthetic shift because I mean I'm partly joking when I said like I would do that on AIM or MSN, but I'm you know I would because I was a teenager. Oh like, yeah, I, I didn't would. have the capacity for self awareness, which being a huge brand does to you. It just breaks your brain when you're ninja level famous. Yeah, this especially the way it's done, especially with this that with the the profile picture change feels very. Um, done by a production assistant. This does not yeah, feel it's like it, this it's feels so like it was coordinated. On a, it was like in a deck, you know. It was like on an internal like, email. Like who this rage is built stream? Is this his? Who, is this his BRB or like is this? Yeah, are we supposed to believe that he rage quit stream and open up Photoshop? Yeah, I'm, like, I'm in such a mood. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Just, like I don't understand. Like that's just, it. Just doesn't make sense to me, dude. I'm I'm um, pissed. I gotta. Well, hang on, I'm just gonna open Canva real quick. Yeah, let me just <laughs> drop out. Let me just like, because because the thing is, if you were taking a break, you don't need to do any of this. You know what I mean? You just yeah. when you take a break from social media, you just close the tab and you don't revisit it. You know what I mean? You just log out of the website. Wait, when did this happen? The first? Yeah, this happened two days ago. When did it happen relative to this retweet? The same day. <laughs> At what time? Eight. 837 Yeah, so that's 2 hours. 2 Yeah, but 2 hours how soon after quitting was this tweet? <laughs> like I know, I minutes? don't understand. I don't understand. This is so, this is well, we, we, It's just suspicious. It's it like is prime ninja behavior. We've seen it before. And you know, ninja because like I, it would be one thing if it was Ninja has a track record of doing these like little stunts or like ra raging at chat and then like saying something like yeah. super fucked up. Like I'm going to buy the bank and foreclose your house. And also just thing that like, he said. also like acquiescing control of his brand to his management. Like he, he has said, you know, like with the Pokemon stuff, for example, just being like, oh, I'm just the oh, entity yeah. you control how the am perceived. Eh. So it's yeah, really so I'm just like maybe they're even trying to pivot a, into something more interesting. Maybe there's certain yeah, the burnout was there's just a certain the, amount of you know. charitability that I don't think Ninja. I think Ninja has kind of burned a lot of that because yeah. of his antics in the past. Does not get the benefit so I do, of the doubt. I just don't want it to seem like if anybody were to behave the same way, it would be treated the same way. It's just that Ninja keeps doing these like stunts and rebrands, and you know, and like if that's Ninja. Even if somebody else were doing it, well, then, like, maybe that was kind of a fucked up thing to do, but I'll take your content and the personality into account. Whereas this is, this is the 20th strike, right? 
This would not be yeah. it's just the first rug fall. Yeah, uh, it's just like there's so many ninja things where they, he's done like this, where it kind of just feels like the next one, especially because it's like coordinated and there's like, or where. So if like he comes back with a YouTube thing, that's that's fine. You know what I mean? Or I even think like Pokimane recently was like, took a break. And she, she took a break. She came back. She said, I'm going to stream less. Um, oh, yeah. And he launched the stream with big things are coming. So, it, you know, you know, you know, I, f I mean, at the, okay. So it was literally the same stream that this happened. Two, uh, two and a half hours later, after tweeting big things are coming on stream, he quote unquote rage quits. And changed and his, it, it immediately changed his Twitch branding. Yeah. Oh, his Twitter branding, I should say. Yeah. What this is the most suspicious. Twitch. I, I don't think I realized, like, if it were the same week, then a little sus. But the same fucking... If this was in the same election cycle, I would be suspicious. In the same yeah. fucking, like, two-hour break. You could yeah, start to... and finish dinner in the time that this happened. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you literally would have whiplash. Could you go to his Twitch? <laughs> this also says B BRB and <laughs> user not found. Wait, is Wait, this always his... have a... No, right? Was that always the case? No. Oh, wait, is this is the one? Fucking friendly. What did I say? Oh yeah, God, we got to see the fucking... moment. Oh. I can't wait to see them rip. I not one. I don't know what they're going to Jeez. I'm going to splash this. Right. Holy shit. I don't want like, to left. <laughs> okay, okay, that's the thing. Pretty close by. Did they rip? I don't know what it, that means, but I, I mean, maybe. Because this is rift in the middle of the sky. Ninja? Why is that rift in the middle of the sky? Ninja? Can't do any more, dude. Can't. What happened? <laughs> I'm fucking sick of this, dude. I'm sick of these fucking players. So that's organic. That did actually, you know what I mean? There's no way of rehearsing that event. Yeah, yeah. But it, it's, it's like when you get, you get like tackled in a, in a football game, you're like, ah. Oh, I'm sick of these fucking players. What is he sick of? I don't, I just don't understand. Yeah, what is rifting in Fortnite? Click Fortnite that. Fortnite has yeah. added rift zones to the game in the 14.30 update. These rifts are areas on the map that are surrounded by a blue aura and have different types of... Oh, okay. So these two different... Well, shit. hey, if you go back to Twitter, there was somebody who, who said, would you believe this was because somebody Done rifted Because in somebody rifted, yeah. And I'm curious what the replies to that are. Uh, it was... Wait. Oh, yeah, his check mark is gone, so he's not partnered anymore. On, his, on, yeah. Uh, Twitch. Yeah. 18.3 million followers. That's so wild. Let me check mine. Hold on. Is that more? Oh, yeah. I think you, have, yeah, that is think you have more. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I have less. All right. Close. 15.3. Yeah, that's pretty nice. 18.3, 15.3. .3, those are close. Austin, awesome. just go ahead. Cover this. Just uh, shift that to something maybe uh, close to it. I mean, uh, say humble. Put me at like 17.3 million followers. Yeah, yeah. 18.2 million. So yeah. I, yeah, I can maintain my kind of salt of the earth. Working class aesthetic. People will appreciate that. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, let's call it. Let's let's call it. I think. I think. I think we've got a regular Kaiser Soze on our hands. <laughs> I think we've got a planned event. I know. I I I fear that that may be what's happening. I don't think here. we're seeing Ninja on Twitch again. No. I did. Also, if he just makes another bag going from Mixer to Twitch to YouTube, I mean, what a, I mean, what an actual genius. There's only so much hate I can give, to be honest. On yeah, that <laughs> I mean, to be honest, like, what a, what a king. Um, mm. well, from from glistening highs <laughs> to the lowest lows, <laughs> the lowest of lows.
Yeah, this is made by this, the, the heiress and scion of the Murphy bed fortune. Like, the act, the thing that falls away. Oh, Just unrelated. Okay. It's not about Murphy bed. Is, when she says, I want to be ninja, are we talking about... What ninja does she want to be? Look, she wants to be ninja. Ninja, <laughs> sorry. When she, wants, <laughs> when she says she wants to be ninja... We're going to criticize what she... we should learn to read, okay? <laughs> okay, that's fair, that's fair. Um, but, like, what ninja in particular is she referring to? Oh, that's not important, mate. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's barely okay. a part of it at all. I think, well, I mean, the important part is um, taking down Chow, her, her nemesis. And maybe the most essential part is, I think you'll say, maybe the most important part is, uh, is her audience and maybe who she just, the person she keeps making eye contact with. This is also significantly older. This is 10 years old. I don't know why she re-uploaded oh, okay. it or what changed. I just love that the, the DJ twisted some knobs and then was in the process of going, eh? <laughs> I don't know. They're just from it's DJ like, Hero. I don't know what I'm doing. Like, I don't know. He's just yeah. turning some paper plates. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you want to? It's a living. It's a living. It could be anything. I get the phone call. I got yeah, better capture that, mate. Yeah, yeah, make sure true. to get that on camera. <laughs> I think somebody's got it covered. He's got to get the high angle. <laughs> Chow will not get away. It's Chow will not get away. Oh, so if the song's 10 years old, then it's not in reference to Ninja, the Fortnite streamer. No, nothing to do with... Well, maybe they knew in advance. <laughs> uh, they knew everything. We, we did say time traveled. Oh my god, and the... The, it was the scion of the Murphy bed fortune that gave him his egg avatar or whatever. She, she built yeah, this whole yeah. thing. That Chow is such a creep. I Who is Chow? <laughs> to take down Chow one day. Take down Chow. Up. Take down Chow one day. Chow is, I, I, as a modest point of the video, Chow is just an anonymous, uh, uh, the catalyst for him existing, I'm not really sure. But the important thing, Jarvis, is that he is an Asian man that she has to take down. Okay. And there's only one way to do that, of course. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, wait, look. I'm putting two and two together. Her, oh, God. Oh, and, God. And you can see the moment. <laughs> oh, no. You can see the moment that her... There's a subtle shift in her performance. The music drops, and you'll notice that, that something happens to the way she is um, presenting, we'll say. <laughs> wait, can you scroll down for a second? Can you scroll down the first video? I want to be Ninja original music video 1.0 edition. Oh yeah, dude, of course. They um did manage to make a version that wasn't shot live. It's not being performed live, Jarvis. This is just an MP3, but it's, they did it again. It's, Con um, it's Kanye, like, uh, The Life of Pablo. He's, like, making <laughs> like, yeah, those three the versions patch. of the album. Yeah. <laughs> this is Sunday service. Patch did. All right, all right, we can uh, go back, we can go back. Oh, to choose between them, uh, this is or will always be my favorite. Uh, the, yeah, 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 let's watch your favorite. The, I will say, the one thing, there is one That's thing That's an incredible frame that you stopped at, by the way. <laughs> That's how I feel. Uh, you know, okay, she's going to make a small shift in the performance, and you'll notice there's something kind of, um, I don't know, the acapella is, is distinctive. I want to be ninja. I want what? to chop, 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 oh. chop, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! No! 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 What? It is what? my pleasure to get to show you this for the first time. I don't know why nobody knows about this. What? <laughs> Holy shit! What the fuck is that? Well, I don't know how else to explain it, mate. She wants to be DJ. <laughs> <laughs> the the like accent she just went into a full like racist like yeah. trope i too could be ninja in the most just Ugh. like uh, and you will notice it, it it bears repeating and i don't can i just can i just say something yeah ninjas are japanese they are japanese <laughs> not now, Chinese. And, which highlights maybe my favorite thing about this video which is that they did sink a little bit of money oh they bought a drone they went to some kind of event she read you know a book <laughs> And then um, there is a... Wait, was it How to Be Ninja for Dummies? Is that what that said? Ni oh my god, Ninja... Tr oh god. Algebra 1. Wow, no. they didn't even do that? They didn't yeah. Even do that. <laughs> yeah, look at that. <laughs> look at the ninja symbol. The, the letter Y. <laughs> yeah. A question mark. Why did I make X, this? X, Y. Uh, as you'll notice, um, well, that's... <clears throat> um, you know, she's training, etc. 
But they did manage to invest a little bit of the budget, and they flew to China. Oh. No! What? And she's fanning? Dude, this is... They also, the part, this part, she just does, I don't need, it's just... She ran out a of budget, just did a lyric video, oh, <laughs> impromptu. I, I've never noticed before that she is uh, wearing double katanas, like, like a Ninja Turtle. <laughs> she just... <laughs> oh my she'd god. She'd be wearing a shell. This is shell-tastic. How? Ninja. Oh, just, um, it, again, and I don't like focusing on this box, it feels like I'm, um, highlighting somebody that didn't want to be involved. She does continually make eye contact with this woman. <laughs> the, I was the single, curious if that woman... The single non-white woman in the entire audience. Keep That's looking at so her, bizarre. going ninja. Wait, so is this her like performing against an audience who like knows about her? I this this reads to me like um uh you know one of those like succession style parties where waspy rich people all meet up in like a warehouse yeah. that one of them owns and they throw a party because they started an MLM, you know. Right. Like, this is right. my new Tupperware uh, oh Tupperware system that made you. You know what's the funny is like this doesn't even I don't even feel comfortable like singing this song as a joke you know what i mean like oh, that's how fucked up it is let me tell you it took me hours of deliberation before i put it on my soundboard <laughs> before you put it on what my soundboard <laughs> oh before you put it on your... <laughs> i have uh they said my soundcloud before like i put you. it on my gravestone <laughs> yeah uh, but yeah the, the, i want to be ninja is a real highlight i just wanted to people can invest in i want to be ninja in their own time TLDR, that, she takes down I Chow. will never get back the moment where she switches into the racist accent. Oh. You, you, mean, you mean this much? You know what? Maybe, maybe I too could be ninja. I... Maybe. I mean, so, shit. She, she has an issue with Chow, who is probably just a man, but like to her is a ninja. Uh, yeah, sure. I think it's just an adult Asian man of non... Uh, I mean, she certainly didn't say he was Japanese. Yeah. So I really don't know where the ninja element comes in. I guess at least that would That's... be a small justification if he was a Japanese man who was a ninja that moved to China. Then at least going to China. <laughs> like, at least she's going right. there, but not because it's Japan. You know? She's looking for him because he's in hiding. <laughs> mm -hmm. Also, for the audio listeners... Yeah, she's white! <laughs> yeah, I don't oh, think no, that was yeah. a... A question. Now go ahead um, and just um, uh, go to sleep chanting uh, white woman to yourself. And the image that finds you in your sleep paralysis is exactly the woman you're thinking of. Yeah, if true. This is before you customize the character. Oh my god. Okay, well, I guess this is a great se setup for Day Above Ground's Asian Girl song. Um, yeah, as I sort of want to almost use that like the uh, the opening sequence of a, of a Bond movie showing how capable he is. Uh, I want to use this as a setup to this is this is baby food this is oh nothing. no this oh, is no. absolutely pathetic <laughs> watching this on stream is what allowed somebody with the, the, the ten tenacity you know who you are to share this link and and really just eat up like an hour and a half of my life we're also gonna have to be a little oh. judicious about what parts of the video we can show we i watched all of it on stream but there is some like no, there's no nudity or anything, but there is some imagery, some concepts that visually I'm I not see. sure we'll get I'm a with. little the font already. Hmm? The font. There's something the, you like, think is not great about that? Yeah, it's like the it's like the quote unquote like Asian font. Like that you'd see it like a shitty Asian fusion restaurant. Yeah, I would say that this would like uh basically if you wanted to be racist. Oh, sorry. Shitty be... Asian fusion restaurant owned by white people. <laughs> oh, of course, yeah. Uh, called, which, like, employs uh, two Mo Moroccan men. And I'm like, well, that's kind of, you know, sort of... Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but... You know, Russia's the same kind of landmass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this bit, I don't, I don't know what it is. Lee... Levi Tran. Okay. And lucky her. <laughs> lucky her to get to be in this lucky video. Her. Acoustic was not expecting that. Mm -hmm. Woo! Oh, oh, Were you okay. expecting that part? <laughs> I, 
you know, I kind of was. <laughs> if I'm completely honest. I was like, well, this isn't so... Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there we oh, go. Extremely. There we go. It like, does not fit with the acoustics. <laughs> not at all. It sounds like somebody tried to make it racist. Yeah, <laughs> they added it in. They were like, this doesn't hit enough. Yeah, they gave this to their, like, white supremacist audio engineer, and it came back to them like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what did you do? The song was about going to the beach. I'll try to it. Ugh. Well, actually, here's an actual logistical question. Do you think we should put captions on the screen cap or not? Because the captions are mostly completely wrong. And, Probably uh, no. The lyrics are. And it might just be distracting. It might be fun for you to try and figure out. Uh, some of this, oh, I missed a lot of Easter eggs my first time around. I'll say it's oh, like a okay. Marvel movie. Great. Great. Okay. Asian okay, already. You got to pause it. You got to pause mm. it. What the fuck? What, what is the <laughs> so, image you're currently seeing? <laughs> So I'm currently seeing, so immediately we are, it's a, it's a whole, it's a flock of white men. Mm. Uh, and I say flock because they're in a bird cage. <laughs> um, they're, they're very small. Uh, they're four, very small, the band. size of birds. The drummer has a shirt off like he's Travis Barker. Um, and the main man is wearing a baseball shirt. The, for whatever reason, there are two vocalists. Yeah, uh, you know it was that era. <laughs> and, uh, uh, you got to I will put out the um the small man that they've dressed like a cartoon character. He uh as the article in them rebutting that this is racist, they are very quick to point out that he was born in Indonesia. So actually it's fine. They the man didn't okay. write any of the lyrics or say any of the song. <laughs> you got to keep playing it. You got to keep playing it. Why does this feel so okay? Pause it. Why does this feel like so much colonizer energy? Like, oh, yeah. like why does this man who's it, who's very tiny and inside of a bird cage <laughs> saying "You're my Asian girl" feel so racially motivated? Well, let me say from a position of uh, uh, cultural authority, basically, it's a very small nation, one that's kind of isolated, like an island, oh. effectively saying. Hey, this much bigger world out there is mine, actually. Is mine, actually. That You're bit's my, mine. It's a colonizer's anthem, actually. You're my Asian girl. Give me your jewels. I'll take yeah. those. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're my Asian girl. This is my Asian land. Thank you you so were much. my Asian belonging, my oh, object. The, the food is scary. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> yeah. I'll go back to boiling. Thank you. <laughs> I'll go back to boiling. All right. It's my What? Yeah, so I will say, uh, something you're going to notice immediately is there's a lot of, like, very immediately obviously racist lines. And then just, just like a line. Just like, so they need to rhyme it, and you're, you're, you're stuck with like, well, is that a stereotype? Yeah, like, I love your sticky rice. It's like, okay, Ooh. so this is right. Okay, and, right. But then... But fucking all night. Right. Like, you why know. does it? What, what is the connection between those two? Lines? You know how they do. <laughs> and then, and then, Korean barbecue. Mm -hmm. This is really oh, a lot. We are going to travel. Um, is the this globe. meant to be a comedy song? Um. Well, the, it's interesting that you ask. The article <laughs> that later came out as a response, because I was I was skeptical. I'm like, is it self aware? Is this a joke? They think it is, but not ah. to the degree. They, their rebuttal was basically like, oh no, it's about, yeah, no, like, don't fetishize, like, don't fetishize Asian women, like, that's really, like, really fucked up, or, and, like, whatever, but, um, first of all, if you notice that one of our guys, he's actually, you know, he's one of them, and also, um, <laughs> there's, uh, we would never say that about some of the most beautiful women on Earth. That's literally a line. We would never talk that way about some of the most beautiful women on Earth. Okay, so you're fetishizing Asian women. We would never fetishize women, especially because they're the, the singular most beautiful women. Ever. Yeah, they're special. They're mine, actually. If I yeah. <laughs> that over there. Okay. All right, keep keep blasting it. No, anyway, those are the good. Those are the um, good lyrics. One of my favorite parts of the entire song. <laughs> Bitch! <laughs> I love you, bitch. <laughs> I ain't gonna never stop loving you. 
bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, this this one's a fun back and forth because like I'll be sticky rice, cool racist, but fucking all night. What? Uh, Korean barbecue, <laughs> new kind of racism, sick. And then just bitch. <laughs> also, no wait, <laughs> Korean barbecue, just a statement, actually, <laughs> like There's, just a yeah. description of a type of food. You'll notice every time that they feel it, it almost feels like they're thinking of it live, where they've like exhausted all the obvious racist things, and then they'll just be like, eh, fucking chopsticks or something, you know, whatever. Oh god. Uh, Taiwan. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> okay. Let me just uh, pull up the. Get that back real quick. Korean barbecue, bitch, I love you. I love your creamy yellow thighs. Oh, you That is in no universe. Is that even a joke? You know what I mean? Like that's not even. If this there's was no the argument most, for humor. If this was the most self-aware music video in the world, like yeah. Wow, we're really not that far from them just being in makeup. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, cool, good. Oh, it was self-aware, was it? Oh, you burned down my houses a bit. That's epic, dude. Nice. I didn't know you were, I didn't know you were fucking around. Oh, you're allergic bitch, to this. I love you. Bitch. Um, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Your slanted eyes. It is so hard not to pause after every goddamn stanza in this song. <laughs> like, it's like they're, they're, it, it almost feels like they're children with no awareness of like what they're saying. And then they don't know it's like a faux pas. Yeah. Yeah. They, with their full chest, they're saying every offensive thing they possibly can. Yeah. I, this like is in cool. a row. I always feel like this is watching Black White and if we weren't black, where I'm not allowed to like remark on something. Because I want to repeat something and point it out. But yeah, like, it's like I can't. Creamy no, I can't. thighs. And I want to yeah. get into the why. Yeah. They yeah. really do. They, like, I mean, they. they. It's just like very historical, like, like racist tropes. They've yeah. got. They're, they're, I hate it. I'm on my. They're great at it. They're really, they've put they're the They're great at being racist. They're yeah. so good at it. And obviously they're a really talented band because we can name one other song of this. <laughs> Definitely. We can? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Couldn't, ooh, what could I, but it's easier to name the songs that I don't remember from them, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love their song, Black Girls. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, my let's not Black even, Let's not even, let's not even joke about what that could possibly be. I'm not Jesus. comfortable. Okay, let's move on. Yellow thighs, ooh, your slanted eyes. Now it's the gear of the dragon. Ninja pussy, I'm stabbing Asian girl. You're my Asian girl. You're my Asian girl. Wait, sorry. So this is like an anthem to like Asian fetishization. He hmm. did he say it's the hmm. okay? Hmm. Let me think about if I want to repeat this. Did he say um, it's the year of the dragon? Yep. Your pussy, I'm stabbing. Would you believe me if I told you it was worse? Oh no! You've gotten everything right, except it wasn't your job. Oh no! It was this word. No way! <laughs> <laughs> he said that. Yeah. <laughs> what? It's like not even believe. It's like unbelievably. Like I wouldn't. Be able to be this racist if I try. <laughs> it's like what coke fueled night put this lyric yeah. sheet together. You want to know the best thing of all, Jarvis? The genius page is fucking annotated. Oh, by who? <laughs> okay, know. like not by them, not by them. Like, uh, it's, fact, well, the best thing about the geniuses page is sometimes it's just like this is actually racist, <laughs> is it? <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Wait. No okay. Shit. Keep before we go to genius. So I do want to hear more. Of, or I don't want. Oh, to, no, so no, we no. should. I, I don't want to listen. I I you'd think I'd be inoculated at this point, but it's so dense. It'd be like if Black White was only Bruno saying the word. <laughs> yeah, I feel I feel like it's very hard to make it any number of seconds without uh, commentating on commenting on what they're saying. And I'll throw it to the to the um the the audio listeners. Um, the word instead of your that they said was ninja. Mm. Yeah. Ninja pussy, I'm stabbing. Yeah, they do say that. I like the hook because it's like I get to take a break. <laughs> it's, it's like they're like, hey, it's everybody take a break. The most around. tame part of the song so yeah. far. I get I to, it's like orange slices. You know, I'm just like, all right, let's just let's take a fucking second. I need to. 
this poor girl who's in this music oh, video. Oh, no, lucky her. Um, she, uh, yeah. I believe, is in one of the articles or is in a follow-up interview and was nowhere near aware of, like, what how this would operate, right? Because they're not. She's yeah, not they, stood the next it, to them in a cage. No, they're on a green. They're not actually. <laughs> uh, they're not actually miniature. They're on a green yeah, screen. They so. don't. They're not playing the they song literally... live with her in the room. In this room. Oh, imagine they just said, "Oh, hey, model, like do this like sensual shoot," and then we're gonna put our like disgusting racist. Yeah, song the song was called um, "My Girl." Yeah, my girl. my beautiful girl. My girls. weird this is you're my asian just by itself yeah that was that it felt like a thing that they did for musicality <laughs> yeah exactly. because they didn't have enough bars but it, it they accidentally or maybe on purpose did more racism yeah. well i'd say like <sighs> forest in the trees you know what i mean <laughs> like, what, I guess. yeah i mean it it reminds me of when FN Mecca DM'd me, don't worry. Oh, yeah. Uh, the Asian has a black <laughs> voice or whatever. Yeah. yeah, and I was like, it's uh, actually like, good. Qua? Yeah. Superstitious feng shui sheet. What? Don't lay your head by the toilet. I've got your green tea boob. So put your head on my shoulder. Uh, and your mama's so pretty. That one gets me. That one, I'm not sure. What does that mean? You, the, your mom is the, so pretty? What, it, it, or the green tea on my shoulder. There's the, a lot uh, to work through, but, to be fair. There's a lot. You know, this is actually <clears throat> far more tame than the first <laughs> verse. <laughs> they, they, they're taking a break before maybe they go back in for the kill. Yeah. Um, I mean, the ninja line is rough. Like, that is true, because it's visceral, it's, like, unpleasant, and then you, there's just so much to it that I, yeah. I'm glad they're giving me a break. I guess. <laughs> yeah, best nails in the city. Push in. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. All right. They, they, they. Oh, this is. Do you think they broke one I don't know. Uh, every stereotype on a whiteboard? Yeah, well, this is where it gets like. They get back into it later with some more obvious ones, which is. To, to me, like, why are these so obscure? Are you aware of Asian people? A stereotype of Asian people driving Mercedes? No. But I mean, I look. I, I this don't, almost feels like I, a racist like, <laughs> like, test. Like this is like a theory test <laughs> yeah. to get into this uh, 4chan <laughs> group. To, to get into day above ground. <laughs> this is their only day above ground before they have to go back yeah. to hell. <laughs> it also doesn't help that uh, two thirds of their band are skinheads. I mean, that's not like a group. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for real. <laughs> they independently, I'm sure, just have those haircuts, but like. It's so funny that this is the type of like musicality wise. This is like the softest music for like the most hardcore looking. It music. is. Or, they are so good. I mean, what is that guitarist even getting to do? He's just yeah. there's there's no leads in this band. <laughs> there's just they a rhythm literally, guitarist. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they're great. I like them a lot actually. If any, it's also acoustic. Like that's not even the right guitar, yeah. right? I don't even know. Well, um, I don't know what it is in the band that's playing. Oh no 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 no! <laughs> Girl, you drive me crazy. Hold on, did you catch that one, Jarvis? That one's I that did, one's buried. I just heard you drive me crazy. Some of these do feel like the engineer was like, "I'm just going to bury that in the mix. <laughs> I'm just going to try and throw that." Um, let me just. Oh, I, I want to make sure that I'm not wrong about this one. Um. Genius. That's the only genius article I've ever opened on my business email. Um, <laughs> that's not pretty. Uh, is it wrong? I thought they say. Girl. Oh, yeah, and it's girl. Well, this is girl, you drive me crazy. Somebody in my chat contested that genius is wrong. Oh, also, maybe my. Did you hear the superstitious feng shui shit? That, yeah. That, yeah, I can't even get to that. What does the annotation say? Okay. Um, the, they say, I mean, I'll let you be the judge of it. I hear, girl, you drive me crazy. In reference to pushing yeah. your daddy's Mercedes, which was the previous line. Yeah. I've heard multiple yeah. people. This is a re regular Berenstein Bears situation. Okay. They think he's saying, you chop me crazy. 
Oh no. I don't know. So let me let me best nails in the city. Pushing your daddy's Mercedes. Girl, you drive me crazy. Asian. No, they're saying they drive. are saying they're drive, saying drive. right? It's just that they aren't probably yeah. aligned between maybe one of them's racist. <laughs> maybe one of them's saying it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Oh, we are. This is amazing. She's also dating all of them. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, why is she on dates with everyone in the band? Like, literally, she's our, like, the only Asian girl who will talk to yeah. Dean. Oh, she's my. our Asian girl. Yeah, it makes me uncomfortable to even much say that out worse. loud. Um, also, they, they have put various, like, languages I'm... on the screen. Yeah. Like... This I believe is Chinese. It's and before it was Korean during the Korean barbecue thing, which is make, uh, makes which me is uh, you know it's representation, I guess. I mean, at least they've at least those are aligned. At least it's not like I'm going to yeah. China to be a ninja. That's true. I guess it is actually I good. Guess, <laughs> is what we're saying. I guess that's true. She's my Asian girl. Yes, my Asian. You're my Asian girl. New Year's in February. That's their. Wait. <laughs> They're really. Did you hear how generous they are? He said, New Year's in February? What? That's okay with me. Oh, I guess. That's really nice. And thank you so much for allowing me to do that. <laughs> it's fine with me, I guess. Yeah. Shark soup? What? Fuck it. We'll eat it. Tradition, 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 yeah, yeah, baby. That's, That's it for that line. line. <laughs> There's so many nonsense. You know, yeah, you know how, like, Asian also... people have traditions? <laughs> like, tradition, tradition, tradition. It actually, isn't this, uh, uh, like, <laughs> Fiddler on the Roof or whatever? Like, uh, wait, what is a tradition? Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is like, I mean, I guess cultures have traditions. That's, some of these aren't racist because they just don't make any sense. <laughs> You're my Asian girl. You're legally the best kind. So baby, marry me. Oh, yeah. I always forget. I always forget. Did you? Um, <sighs> you're like, here illegally, best kind. You're legally the best kind. So, baby, so baby marry me. <laughs> Right? The best. Oh, kind. yeah. You're really. You say that to me sometimes. <laughs> I do say that. I do say, I say that. You're, I go, no, I, I have a visa. And you go, best guy. Nah, I say the best guy. <laughs> <kind. laughs> Come on, see my life. Right here, baby. Oh, we'll send you back. Also, the like music of this is so bad. It's shitty. I mean, I had a. a you know what I mean? I, uh, my audience, they, just, they were like pulling stems that, you know, they were like playing with the, the very low quality uh, audio of this to try and get yeah. just the, the isolated vocals. And she had no issue with I Want to Be Ninja. Snap that up in a heartbeat. Easy as pie. This track just can't seem to get it out. <laughs> it's so like compressed and muddy and shitty and all over the shop. How far are we in the um, We are just over halfway. There's a very long bridge that I will just go at, go okay, because okay. It, we can't have it in a YouTube video. Okay, no, no, no. Okay. Do. Oh, I mean, oh, I should, yeah, sorry, point out. Um, they did just threaten to deport her if she doesn't marry them. They that did was, say that. To be they clear, did say to, that. In case everybody, yeah. Yeah. Um, you're here illegally, best kind, so baby, marry me. Um, what was it? Oh, come sit on my lap, or we'll send you back. Or we'll send you back. Jesus I'm going to contact Christ. Ice if you don't sit on my lap. <laughs> this is thing. like the power it's dynamics go crazy. Shocking. Yeah. And with a kicking motion. Kick. Yeah, very hard kick. <laughs> and you age so well. You, a you age so well. You, you age so well I can barely tell. I can barely tell. tell. Fuck me, dude. What the fuck? 
How? <laughs> How do they say that? <laughs> what do you mean, 17 or 23? It's okay with me. Doesn't matter to me. <laughs> I don't. How do you write that and then you sing it? How do you do How does that? It, get I don't past, it, it, it feels like, uh, uh, you know, when you see those magic tricks where there's like two rings together and they get them apart somehow. This feels like when they give yeah. it to the audience and they're pulling them. I feel like there's something in me that would block that. Like the words would get to my teeth and then bounce back into my, my throat. I'd be like, I know. Uh, 17 or 23. <laughs> I Why? So it is them, it's them, these tiny, tiny honkies are uh, swimming around in the bath. She got in the bath and then threw these tiny men into the bath. Um, one thing I will highlight, both for the video and audio listener, as I, as I slowly skip through this, is A, the incredibly funny image of her putting um, this guy on her chest. <laughs> Just... <laughs> Just, um, and then... The reason I didn't want to spend too much time on this section, was, which is, um, yes, that one of them does swim inside her vagina. We'll move past that part. As, no! As, uh, well, yeah. Yeah. How did they pay for this? Where did they get money? Who allowed them to make this? <laughs> the CIA to sow division <laughs> amongst the American people to destabilize the country. Yeah, what? Yeah. Arcadia. Oh, no, okay. This, is, this is, is actually my favorite part of the song because this is the full admission that Ooh, we had three minutes of racism. We don't have a lot to work with. We'll just start shouting locations and people. Okay. Don't forget Chinatown, dude. Get I down. saw you over there forgetting <laughs> so Chinatown. So they're in LA. They're in LA, which means that I could very well <laughs> run into <laughs> Day Above Ground. Uh, it's all right. They, uh, I mean, these guys would still be shirtless, most likely. Oh, maybe, no, they'll be too small. You won't be able to see them. Oh, that's too tiny. That's true. I didn't want to take issue with the fact that the scale got fucked up, like the scale of how big <laughs> they were when they went into the water, because they were much smaller yeah. when they were like compared to this woman. They're like a thimble, but, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, uh, just to be clear, don't forget Chinatown. Get down. That is my favorite. Wait, what did he say before Toyota? That is my favorite part of the song right there. Wait, what did he say? He says, uh, happy ending is over. Bruce Lee. Did he say pussy? Did he say Bruce Lee? He just says Bruce Lee. Why does he say that? And the, the fucking snap zoom too is so funny to me. I don't know why. Happy endings all over, Brucey. Toyo. <laughs> that one. These are just these are just v various. It things. just stuff. It sounds like one of the. It sounds like that. Um. You know, uh, in the song "One Week" by Bare Naked Ladies, there is an improvised rap. Really. Where where they just say, they just say a bunch of like non sequiturs. Where it's like um. What? Wait, actually, let me pull up the... And it's also, it's also got Asian fetishization. Oh, great. By the cool. Way. Them, Weezer, everybody comes um, it. And it kind of feels like this might be what they're going for. Like, they're like, oh, we're just like bare naked ladies. Yeah, it worked for those guys. Um, um, the, 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 allegedly, let's see. Allegedly, this was improvised in some way, but uh, uh, 
Hold it now and watch the hood wink as I make you stop think. You think you're looking at Aquaman. I summon fish to the dish, although I like the shell. I swish. I like the sushi because it's never touched a frying pan hot like wasabi when I bust rhymes. Big like Leanne rhymes because I'm all about value. Burnt campers got the mad hits. You try to match wits. You try to hold me, but I bust through. Gonna make it break and take a fake. I like a stinking naked shake. I like vanilla. It's the finest of the flavors. <laughs> Gotta see the show because then you know the vertigo is gonna go. Okay, oh yeah. Wait, Yo, shout out to vanilla. <laughs> <laughs> the finest of the flavors. Oh yeah, because the th there's a later verse. Oh yes, oh yes, this is so bad. It's uh, chickadee China, the Chinese chicken. That's what you that's wrong. Drum in you, you have a drum. Yeah, we don't talk about how bad this was. Wow. You have a drumstick and your brain stops ticking. Watching X Files with no lights on. We're Don Don Lemay's on. I hope you're smoking mints in this one. Like Harrison Ford, I'm getting frantic. Like Stingham Tantric. Like Snickers, and this is going somewhere. Like Snickers, guaranteed to satisfy. Like Kurosawa, I make mad films. K, I don't make films. But if I did, they'd have a samurai. <laughs> gotta, <laughs> gotta get a set of better clubs. Gotta find the kind with tiny nubs just so my irons aren't always frying on the backswing. Gotta get in, t gotta get in tune with Sailor Moon because that cartoon has got the boom anime babes that make me think the wrong thing. <laughs> Sailor Moon's in school, you know, right? Talk, that was like, how well did that song do? Like, oh, uh, I mean, Chickadee Chan the Chinese Tick Chicken found me without me knowing the song, like that. That yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's been, it's been, it's been. Um, <laughs> don't forget Chinatown. It's just so like Bruce Lee. Well, I want, I want to see how well this song did. Um. Ah, yes. Number one on the Billboard Top 100. <laughs> That's what I thought. Boom. See? That's why kids in my high yeah. school were saying Chickadee China the Chinese Chicken without knowing the song or what Bowling for Soup was. Or Bowling for Soup, different band. Oh, uh, Bare Naked Ladies uh, movie. Bare Naked Ladies. I, I also have a relationship with Bowling for Soup, but that's... Uh, I'm sure they've got bad lyrics, too, though. You, you can't escape uh, that era. But they've got more There's only so much you can do. Whiny, whiny pop punk. Girl, all the bad guys want. They also did the uh, theme song to Phineas and Ferb. Oh, I don't know that. Bowling for I'm, I'm also just out the loop. Phineas and Ferb that. are gonna... Do... Yeah, Phineas and Ferb is not my era, but... I'm more of a Spongebob man. Um, that's my craft. But yeah, they 1985 was um, Baron, uh, Bowling for Soup. Wow, that's just, I mean, you know it's, it's a while back. 1985. It's not, it's not quite long ago enough, is it? <laughs> it's yeah. slightly too recent for that to be yeah. filmed. Uh, anyway, I'll wrap this up because uh, this is, this is yeah. more the, as you say, this is more the freestyle rap element where it's just places and names of things. Yeah, they're just saying, they're just saying random things that are not. It is, this is like the apex of the, <laughs> the, bit, the bit where they just go, uh, bitch, I love you. That's all right. Well, it rhymes, but what it was, <laughs> you had a one job, and that was to be racist. Toyota, spicy tuna sashimi, yeah. Tasty garden, oh, yeah. Fried rice, say the moon. What was that? Uh, spicy tuna sashimi, two totally separate mm -hmm. things. And then he says, like, something garden, and then the guy's just like, uh, yeah, all, right. all right, okay. What are we doing, a song? <laughs> just get he forgets. Bruce Lee, Toyota, spicy tuna sashimi, yeah. Tasty garden, oh yeah. Okay, wait, I have genius here. What what does he say? Okay. Tasty Dice, garden? Uh, it sounds like a local spicy restaurant. Spicy tuna, sashimi, tasty yeah. garden. Yeah, I think it is like literally like a uh, restaurant. Uh, oh, I forgot. Wait. Oh, what no. Are you, what do you think he says? Oh no! I'm gonna... What do you think he just shouted? No! He did the yeah. he. I'm not gonna repeat yeah. it. I'm not gonna repeat it. But he said fried rice with mm. a racist like sort of L to R See, thing. I fucking I thing. fucking love Jennifer Murphy, but she just has been. This is like uh, characters from the like the Freezer saga going up in like the going against like Broly. It just, it just yeah. it, Yamcha, like, just, it does, he's lost all his power. He's been aged out. Sailor Moon, Moon, let's go! Dude, they are fully, they're fully inspired by One Week by the Bare Naked Ladies. Who I guarantee was it. it. Yeah, true. 
what the fuck? Okay, I don't even, what did know what he fucking said? <laughs> I didn't even, it sounded like, they said Thai iced tea, and then he said, something, something, foot rub, rub it down, down, down. Fuck, yeah. <laughs> I said, uh, wait, is, I think, wait. Oh, to He's saying bet, Thai bet, to bet yeah. Thai bet, yeah. Thai bet. Yeah, Free yeah. top bet. Thai, Thai bet. Thai uh, bet foot rub. rub. Thai bet foot rub rub a uh, down down down. Ugh. Um, and then we're about to maybe the worst part of the entire song. Uh, no. Well, no. The the lyrics themselves aren't racist. It just kind of showcases what they've been reduced to as they wrap it up with. Uh, Yeah. I don't even know what oh, that is. Oh, they're just doing. Uh, they're just doing. Oh, da, 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 instrumental. Da, 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 da. They're like not even in but tune. But with a, with an R instead of la 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 yeah. la la la. Oh. They're doing. It's. Ew. It's, um, what? I, I looked up. I think it's a reference to a Christmas story, which is like not a movie anybody watched when I was growing up here. Uh, it is like it, it, they go to a, an Asian restaurant in a Christmas story, and a bunch of. It's like a very racist joke where they're singing Christmas songs, and yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I've reduced you to ashes. <laughs> the fact that they just say this with their full chest know, is dude. wild to me. Do you think they perform this live? Like, like Jennifer Murphy? <laughs> Do they still? I you mean the band wasn't smited <laughs> down to hell immediately after the song came out? Uh, well, I'm hoping once I drop my video about this, I'm hoping we, they can resurface for an interview. What a what a wonderful day that would be for me to say no. Jesus Christ! <laughs> it's all a joke to them. Woo! Oh, but it's definitely self-aware, dude. Yeah, they like they said in that article, they like know exactly what they're talking about. They would never say that about the most yeah. beautiful women. Tofu. Oh yeah, he just says tofu. Tofu. Yeah, that actually, yeah, he says tofu all over you, all over me. That's that's how you end it. All over you, all over me. Okay. Yeah, we love you all. All the Asian girls love you. And she suffocates them <laughs> with that rag. Keep, <laughs> we love you. Keep smiling. Keep smiling, Asian <laughs> like, girl. What? Your dad's Mercedes or something. Um, one thing I did what not catch the... the first time I watched, by the way, is that this all takes place in like a um, Big Trouble in Little China style alchemist wizard back room thing, yeah. like where you'd get you'd buy like a mogwai, right? Okay. Um. What it look. The seven dwarves. It was her with her Asian magic or something. Oh, it, that's such a like. If you turned this in to to a class a class assignment, I would fail. I would fail this immediately. Um, what do the comments say? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, based. It's like someone <laughs> shout out a song and that song wrote a song. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Wendy Hermes says, Watching this nine years after it came out, I remember the blowback this band got for releasing the video and the shamey Levy Tran got for filming this in 2013. I thought this was hilarious. Still do. But fucking all right. Then you must be doing it wrong. The band released a We're Sorry video. Oh, wow. I'll have to watch that. With the theme being racism? To the blowback. It was called something like The American Dream is Not What It Seems. The Bleach Bond lead singer was shortly kicked out of the band after the Asian girl controversy. I mean, that hardly seems fair. This is on everyone, right? Only one Why of Why didn't the singers? whole band get kicked out of the band? <laughs> yeah. Um. The beat is actually beautiful, LOL. <laughs> the beat. <laughs> dude, bang a beat, dude. <laughs> dude. This beat goes hard. This is not as offensive um, as an assault on the. I mean, hey, we could date multitudes, right? 
I think it's both, yeah. Uh, I love this song so much. But do you love it, love it, or do you love it like I love Jennifer's Murphy? I someone, love okay, someone said, okay, putting aside the racism. Uh, <laughs> like, I don't know if This that's should just be can... a big open space. <laughs> the, right yeah. After that. Okay, putting aside the racism, does anyone else feel weird that she shrunk five guys and put them in a cage so she'd, they'd sing to her? <laughs> <laughs> That's a really good point. I mean, there were pictures of her with all of them being life size. That means they had to. I mean, the shrink and then. I, that's why she had the shrink. That's why she had the shrink. But they seemed uh, on board with it. Juice or whatever. Yeah, they were into yeah, it. Okay, I guess. I mean, didn't you see how how didn't you see the bathtub scene? They were oh, they were right. they were there. I loved for it. That. I love being picked up on a bad chroma a bad chroma key and rubbed on it. Um, so. I'm glad that in the time, like there were creators like in the sidebar responding. Oh yeah, to this. I just wanted that. Far more authority to talk about it than me. Go, you can check yeah. that out by my awkward Azn Azn. My yeah. awkward Azn. Um, <laughs> uh, Hassan talked about Doc Brandon 19 hours ago. That's helpful. <laughs> no, no more. Uh, oh, I see that somebody. Uh, oh, corridor reacted to some stuff. I actually said when you you walked away from your um. You walked away from your computer, and I said, "You look like the dark Brandon set, but just the blue part and not the red part, like because you you have the blue That's behind." A lot you. of uh, it sounds like malarkey to me, pal. <laughs> no malarkey. Uh, I should shout out these. Uh, this is a, just a note for Austin. Um, DM me and tell me to include these videos because that's actually a fun idea in the video. I'm just kidding. You don't have to do that. I'm reminding myself by saying it out loud. Um. You know, I feel like the only way we can wrap up is be by me saying sorry. <laughs> my, um, my bad. My bad to you. My bad to Jarvis. But just remember, you can always cheer yourself up by listening to Jennifer Murphy's I Want to Be Ninja. And now, in <laughs> relatively speaking, pretty light <laughs> song. Okay, closing thoughts. What do you think of the song? That, that was just an, it was an assault. <laughs> On all things we hold dear in our society. <laughs> and just, I just can't get over the, like, confidence of it. It is brazen, yeah. Like, they showed up to filming days and just, like, shouted that shit out. That's wild. It me. is, like, they, they've done, they've managed to border, or like, uh, dive past barriers in, in racism and self-awareness that I just... If it wasn't hateable, it'd be admirable, you know what I mean? I feel yeah, like this is it's, this is the Olympics of racism. I mean, it's um, yeah, it's the Olympics of racism. I, I feel dirtier for having watched that. I don't feel like I was allowed to see it. That's actually a great hard cut for the highlights channel one. Just end it there. <laughs> uh, all right, should we wrap up the regular show? Do you have something you want to talk about? Yeah, no, this is good. Um, <laughs> we end every episode of the Sad Boys <laughs> with an apology. <laughs> a sincere, heartfelt apology by me. Um, I, <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, I hate me, and I'm so sorry. I hate me, and I apologize, and I'm sorry. Um, uh, we love you. And we're sorry. <laughs> <laughs> We're really sorry, like not even as a joke. This is genuinely Gucci girl, Gucci girl, how you doing? How you moving girl? Moving girl, how's your day looking? That future girl, future girl, yeah, we on now. Take my money, go away, how you want it? Gucci rich for me.